In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear a portion of today's Gospel lesson from John 14. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Blessings to each of you, and especially if you are a mother. As once again God will bring comfort through his word, First of all, Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. John, a favorite disciple, is the one chosen by God to use the word mother from the cross. John alone records Jesus saying, Behold your mother. Mary, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. That is the truth that every mother needs to hear. Not only let your heart not be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me. We as children need to be assured of this truth from our mother. Mothers rocking their child while singing, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Or the mom or dad that teaches us so that we can teach our children. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And all because Jesus promised I go to prepare a place for you. Today is no different. Jesus wants us to be ready even when we know the end is near. Just like Jesus wanted to prepare his mother. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God believe also in me. The thief on the cross saw, and he heard Jesus, and he believed, and he heard Jesus say, Today you'll be with me. Listen to this hymn. As a mother stills her child, thou canst touch the ocean wild. Boisterous waves obey thy will, when thou sayst to them, Be still. Wondrous sovereign of the sea, Jesus, Savior, pilot me. May these words be a blessing to your day. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Amen.